So how can we grow in our spiritual discernment? I think one of the purposes of our meeting here is to be clear regarding the differences that we have. So our first encounter was when I called your radio program, talked with you or confronted you about the issue of discernment and your affinity for Sid Roth. You have given a lot of shade to some of the worst and most egregious charismatics, charlatans, false prophets, and uh, hucksters that the charismatic movement has churned up. If I think right. you're way off there, if you think I'm totally lacking in discernment, we can be totally candid. Sure. So there's no, there's no personal offense here. Nope. Our conversation is for the body, <laughs> right? You have falsely accused someone. Now, that doesn't trouble you, which means there's something fundamentally missing in your own relationship with God. Otherwise, you'd, you'd walk more carefully. You think that you have the right to damn someone to hell. For the glory of God, and that's been the, what we're praying, that Jesus will be glorified and the body will be helped. Yep. That's, that's the goal. Yeah. So how would, how would the two of you define false teacher or false prophet? 